if you're watching my videos on a regular basis and you are a loyal video watcher, then thank you so much. Uh, I'm so sorry for this inconsistent lighting. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to work things out. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. If you read the title, you know that reacting to the new fairy tale chapter that just came out, chapter five of forty. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So where do I go, where do I start with this? So uh, obviously we know that Natsu's alive because nobody called that. But I was kind of happy about it because honestly, if there was any character that I didn't want to see killed, it was Natsu. We learn that Agnolokia has taken Natsu and the other Dragon Slayers into the ravines of time and space because apparently the dude can eat it. No, that's right. He ate time and he ate space. He needs some milk. Man, we all know who ain't getting invited to Thanksgiving dinner. Agnolokia kun because he's going to eat all the turkey, all the stuffing, and then he's going to be hungry. He's going to eat time. Anyway, the dude ate the ravines of time and space, right? Uh, now, the thing with that is we learn that because he did that, Agnolokia has so much power that his physical body and spirit have separated. Natsu is facing off against one half of Agnolokia in the ravines of time and space. Meanwhile, Urza and the others are facing off against Agnolokia, who I don't think has any control of his body in the real world. Wendy and the other Dragon Slayers also get popped off into the ravines of time and space, and when we see them, we see them in kind of encapsulated in these crystal-like structures. We learn that, that is because what Agnolokia is doing is he's circulating their magic power throughout the ravines of time and space so he can use that to stabilize his own magic power because it's so abundant and it's way too much to control on his own. Natsu is the only one not encapsulated to that. But Natsu right now isn't even putting up much of a fight because of what he went through when he fought Zeref. I mean, the dude just killed somebody that was immortal. Give him a second or two to rest. But Agnolokia knows that and Agnolokia is taking advantage of that. So after Anna explains all that, Urza's like, you know what? We still gotta save this world. She says, I see, I see Agnolokia flying towards Magnolia. Let's go to Magnolia. However, it's a pretty long way. She ain't gonna swim all that way. And in comes Mest, everybody's hero. I mean, we haven't seen him in a year, but he's here now. So Mest comes and teleports everybody to Magnolia. Lucy's like, Natsu's gone. And she's like, and Ares is basically like, bitch, no, he's not. Chill. Meanwhile, everybody in World though, they're like, listen, Dragon Slayer's got it. We ain't even worried. Hey, the thing, you know what I mean? Light work. And because of that, and because of that, back in the ravines of time and space, everybody breaks out of their crystal structures because they, they felt the thoughts and the feelings of those from home because that's fairy tale. So then we see that and then all the Dragon Slayers unite into this awesome panel where you see them all together getting ready to fight Agnolokia, one of the coolest pages I've ever seen in manga because you know that that was that had to happen at one point. Like to see them all together in one space fighting one common enemy. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to see. I've never seen it. I can't remember seeing it. So that was freaking dope. So thank you, Hero, for that. Now if you could just give us this whole Nalu thing because I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a need it. I'm going to need it. But that happened. And you know, Agnolokia. Agnolokia, you got to give credit where credit's due because this man has earned his power. This man is cocky. But he has a reason. He's like Kobe. He's like Kobe. He has a reason to be cocky because he, he's good. You know what I'm saying? And he all he says, he's like, Basically, he basically says, y'all think y'all good, huh? Let me teach you a lesson. We'll see if he does or doesn't. But these last few chapters of Fairy Tale are going to be pretty lit. So let's buckle down, folks, because it's going to be a hell of a ride. I'm Southern now. This is really what I think is going to happen. Agnolokia is going to wipe the floor with all of them, right? They're going to be on the brink of death. Agnoloki is gonna say something like screw fairy tale, right? Natsu's gonna get mad. He's gonna be like, even though he's on the brink of death, mind you, he's gonna be like, he's gonna get mad and angry. And with the power of friendship, he's gonna defeat Agnoloki. I don't know with what, maybe with a fist, maybe with a kick, maybe with a breath. But Agnoloki is going to get killed and happy ever after. And now he's gonna kiss, my heart is gonna be satisfied, and I will go on to read other manga because. You know, a good thing has to come to an end. I like Boruto.
every fight Natsu has been has basically been this way. Natsu is down and out for the count, and by some miracle, he gets angry, he gets passionate, and he beats him. Because, Fatal. Yeah. Hey, I'm not lying though. I've enjoyed the I've enjoyed the manga. Sometimes you just want to see a good story like that. You know, the hero comes back from nothing to beat him. Makes you feel good. It's going to be 1v1 between Natsu and Agni Loki. Don't get it twisted. Like, I see no chance of all of them uniting together. At least for a good amount of time, I see Natsu 1v1ing him. Maybe at the end, they all come together with like one special blast that, that they've never done before, but magically know how to unite and do together and uh, kill him. But we'll have to see. But in the meantime, please, if you liked the video, which I hope you did, like it and hit the subscribe button down below as well please join the family you know because we're growing every day and i'm, I'm posting all the time so i'd appreciate it <laughs> so as always guys stay strong and love yourselves have a great rest of your day and uh i'll see you next video